it's not often you see such an inspirational and beautiful made movie. It really touched me here. Hello CTFX Cinema. Uh, we're back with quite possibly one of the worst movies I have ever saw. Mega Shark vs Crocosaurus. And yes, stealing my funky underwear. Basically, this is a sequel from Mega Shark vs Giant Octopus. In this movie, the Mega Shark or Megalodon is apparently still alive. But now there's a giant, huge crocodile that just came out of the jungle to join it. The Crocosaurus was captured by a hunter named Nigel Putman. Uh, he captured it, put on his boat, and took it across the sea, but then it escaped into the ocean. So let's break it down. Everything to do with this movie was terrible. Everything. So I expected there to be some build-up. Like, you might get like a glimpse of the eye of the Crocosaurus, or the fin of the shark, but no, nope, you just see both the beasts straight away. And it doesn't look real. The, the effects are just horrible, horribly made. See, this movie's trying to be so badass, it, I was just pissing myself all the way through. As soon as I saw the crocodile, I roared with laughter. The crocosaurus just like eats someone, squashes someone, it looks really bad. But then it goes straight to like army boat on the ocean, where a giant shark just jumps over, smashes the boat, and some like really bad effect explosion just comes, and then it does the same again. It's just terrible. And the crocosaurus kills some Australian woman, which I'm glad because she was a terrible actor. Uh, she, apparently she just stood on top of it without even knowing. Then it lifted up and she's just going, ah, ah. Everything in this movie was either underacted or overacted. There was no like perfect acting at all throughout this movie. The Crocosaurus laid all these eggs underwater and they were using these eggs to get the beast to come together so they could kill them both. See, they took an egg into the ship, uh, a live egg, there was a croc inside and the woman was doing a test on it she was like writing stuff down on her notepad and stuff. And she heard a noise. And what do you think it's gonna be? It's gonna be the croc hatching from the egg. She was like, what's that noise? Is it coming from the egg? It's just a really bad storyline. I can't even explain it because it was that bad. The croc just goes into Orlando. Doesn't look real, it's just like stomping around. Goes into SeaWorld, eats like the killer whales. Which was hilarious. Then there was this special agent Hutchinson, which I think was possibly the worst actor I've ever seen. I mean, everything she said was just robotic, like as if she was just reading off the script. There was no flow to her voice or anything. That really pissed me off. And another thing that pissed me off was that crocodiles live in fresh water. And this one was flowing around the sea. I mean, crocodiles don't go in seawater, so that made no sense. So the shark ate the submarine, like a nuclear submarine. And they were like, oh, it's turned into a nuclear bomb. But no, because they didn't use the same fuel to make the explosions. So, that wasn't true. Another thing, I'm just like bouncing around things that I hated about the movie, but another thing was the music. Like, from Shutter Island, where the music was done so perfectly, to this, where the music was done so horribly. To kill with these beasts, they just casually blew up a, a volcano. Like, not worrying about people in danger or anything, they just blow up a volcano, I think it's fine, yeah? Now, I think I've said everything, just like, just random things that I hate about the film because I really did hate this film. Uh, I hate everyone that was in it. I hate the director, I hate the actors, I hate the producers, I hate the guy that made the coffee for them. So anyone who thought this movie was amazing, I hate you too. So that's my review. Sorry it's so negative. Hopefully the next one will be better. The Hawk, I believe it is. That looks pretty weird. Um, so I'll see you later. CTFX in the month. In the moon.